Hi Ann. Hi Wu. I see you got a new haircut. Do you like it? I'm not sure. But hey, you are handsome. You can pull off the weirdest hairstyle. So you're saying you don't like it? I'm saying I like you as a person. I don't care about your hair. I guess that's a compliment. So thanks. What do you think of this place? It's quite rich. There is the indoor aquarium. It's beautiful. But out of everything in the room, I like this black kitty sofa the most. What would you like to do next? Are you hungry? Not really. Me neither. Let's go for a walk at the nearby lakeside village and afterwards we come back to have dinner. Let's go. Pleasant surprise. I set my trap for a peasant, and lo, I catch a prince. <laughs> Later. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> Come, my pet. Let us leave our noble prince with these happy thoughts. you sew buttons into my eye. <laughs>
That was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, GG. GG. And, can I ask you something? What is it? Even when matches go smooth, somehow I still get the feeling that you're angry. I wonder why. It's okay, we don't have to talk about it. The truth is, I don't like myself playing this game. I do it because it's fun. Though I feel like I am wasting away my life. I see. But isn't fun reason enough for doing whatever things we do? Maybe. But there are fundamental things in this game that bother me, and I realize I can't change anything about them. That's not true. You can speak up about the things that bother you, thereby changing others' opinions. I give up on changing others' opinions too easily. Cause I always think they wouldn't understand me anyway. So instead, I joke about those things like I don't care. But that's only to draw attention away from the fact that I care. I get you. I never want people to look right through me either. In fact the reason why my white hitbox is so long, is to keep distance with others. However it's good to have someone you can be honest with. In my case, it's you. Among all the hunters in the manor, you're the one I trust the most. I can only say the same about you, Anne. You're the one who helped me cope with my issues of duality. I'm done. Let's go. Look, we're the oddest couple. You look like the Eiffel Tower, and I look like a mosquito. So what? How about next time I go out with Percy, to fit society's standards of male and female height? I was just making an observation. I wouldn't want you to go out with Percy. I was kidding. You can kiss goodbye on my cheek if you want. Hee hee hee. <laughs> and, one last thing. What is it? What do you think about the upcoming survivors, the patient and therapist? You're with me, so you can be completely honest. Well, in this case, I think... And Nettie's can suck my middle finger.